Okay, so this is one of our camera servers. They're Dell 8, PowerEdge 850s, uh, four gig of RAM. They render one camera, an hour worth of video in about 15 minutes. So, you know, it's not great, but it's what we have. So I've made that work. We're gonna be running about two cameras per server. Probably have three or four of these set up. Uh, and that's what people will be able to see our time-lapse videos with so That will hopefully get going Early next week uh, we ac We're actually getting time-lapse video now, but it should be completely running sometime next week All right guys, Batman here, and we're taking apart the uh, heating units that we took off the roof yesterday, and uh, we're gonna scrap what we can. We got this cool box filled with uh, relays and capacitors, so that'll be a lot of fun to mess with. And uh, it'll be pretty sweet, more as it happens. Well, we have a big squirrel cage blower. We have a real nice size motor. There's supposed to be a heater in here, a 1500 watt or no 15,000 watt or 150,000 watt some sucking huge heater and we're thinking maybe resistive ballast for a Tesla coil or something like that so we're investigating as we dissect at the moment well we're working on we're working on this thing. It's taken us uh, almost an hour and a half to, I don't even know how long I've been out here. And we've gotten about this much done. That's what it originally looks like. We still gotta do that one tonight before uh, it gets ganked or something like that. And I gotta save all that electronic stuff so we gotta be careful not to break it. All right, so uh, for reasons nobody really understands, for the first time since we've been here, this water fountain just kicked on a few minutes ago. Like it's got a compressor refrigerator thing in it. Um, and it just kicked on and it took us all a minute to go like, you know, what, what was that? So the so water fountain kicked on. Well, there's no water to this water fountain and uh, there's no real point for it to be doing its thing. That's gotta be it right there. That's our power. Yeah. Okay, where's that go? It wraps around and goes. Yeah, to the where's top it come motor. from? Is what I want to know. So we're gonna disconnect the power. I think that one's just coming out. It just of the wall yeah, motor. it just goes into the wall. Boom. So there, water fountain's off. <laughs> this appears to be relatively decent. So I'm gonna leave it in place, and we'll see if it's clean and safe to drink and all that jazz. But for now, we'll just leave it here. Um, yeah. I want to leave it open so that we know, you know, so that we remember it needs work. But uh, we'll put the screws back in. But yeah, it just it's kind of weird. We're just hanging out. Like, What's that sound? It's the, it's the drinking fountain. Okay. Uh, so let's take a look inside a drinking fountain while we're here. This is kind of cool. Now this is just a regular everyday drinking fountain. Now what we've got is. There's two basic systems to it. There's the electrical system and, and the plumbing system. So this is, inside here is a compressor. And you can see the little tubes, probably full of Freon or some kind of refrigerant. This is probably old enough that it's Freon. So these go up to a cooling unit, which is in here, evaporator coil. Um, and you can see this is all like chilled down. And the supply water comes in here and goes up that's a, probably a check valve right there. And then it goes up to the other valve, like this up here, this button is a valve. And it comes out of that into this tank and then out of this tank around and then out here. So this tank chills it. And then there's the drain side here. That's the drain pipe and it goes down. There's a P-trap here and then it goes into the wall. So yeah, and now you know.
That's how a drinking fountain works. It's actually really simple. So disconnecting this plug unplugs the fan and compressor. So, because this goes right back into the wall. So now everything's unplugged. There's no, oh no, it doesn't have free end. It's got R134A. You can see right there. It's, it's, this is relatively recent. And it's gotten kind of warm. You can see the things melted a little bit here. Hmm. But yeah, that's what's up. We got this. It's good. It's happy. And we got drinking fountain that's relatively new. So we'll save it and see if we can bring life to this thing again. Though, it's a little paint. It needs a little love. You guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden with the Geek Group. I'll we'll have more for you next time. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.